Remove the closure plug from the cell body and lay aside for now. Lubricate the piston's o-rings with water, silicone, glycerol, or other acceptable materials to facilitate its movement into the cell body. The piston is inserted into the top of the cell body. The cell body top has a little screw and the label reads upright. Press the piston into the cell body just until the max fill line reaches the top of the piston. Flip the unit over and place these two parts on the stand between the three posts. Fill the cell suspension until about one inch from the top. If users have less than 35 milliliters, that is okay. If greater than 35 milliliters, run multiple passes through the machine. If being used for protein purification, keep samples on ice and the cell in the fridge when not in use. Take the closure plug and open the flow valve assembly a few turns. Be sure the sample outlet tube is pointed away from the operator since some liquid might come squirting out. Push the closure plug all the way onto the cell body. If liquid comes out from the sample outlet tube, direct the flow into a beaker. Actually, it is best if some liquid does drip out. This means that there is no air pocket within the cell body that could compromise the cell disruption. Close the flow valve assembly snug, not over tightened. This is a metal to metal seat that can be damaged if jammed in too much. Invert all these parts as a set. Be sure the closure plug does not fall out. When fully assembled, this equipment is a bit heavy, about 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. So hold it securely at the bottom so that the closure plug does not drop off.